nights and I could not believe how bad my nausea still was at 16 weeks. Hey you guys, welcome to another video, another pregnancy update. This update is going to be for weeks 15 and 16 and honestly you guys, there's not a whole lot to report which is kind of a good thing but if you guys wanna hear the latest in my pregnancy then just keep watching. So like I said, there's really not a whole lot to talk about and I think that's just kind of the beauty of the second trimester is there's just not a whole lot going on. I do have like a couple of new symptoms, a few older symptoms to talk about, but all in all, this is not going to be very eventful, but you should still watch. So let's just start with the same old, same old symptoms we've talked about a million times before. Start with the nausea. I do actually have some things to report on that. So in week 16, I've been feeling better throughout the day. Like I said, I've still had nausea. Um, but I've been taking the Unisomin B6, which is like truly a lifesaver for me. It made my life so much more bearable. But by week 16, I was like really ready to get off the Unisom because it's a sleeping pill. And so it, even though it works absolute wonders for my nausea, it makes me groggy. It like knocks me the heck out and I don't really like that. And it I think a lot of my moodiness came from the Unisom because I'm just like so groggy and tired from taking it. And so in week 16, I was really ready to get off of it, even though I was still feeling nausea throughout the day while on it, but I decided to give it a go. <laughs> you guys, I think I stayed off of it for two nights and I could not believe how bad my nausea still was at 16 weeks. Like completely different than my last pregnancy. It was like first trimester, I was gagging again. Like I haven't gagged in a long time because the Unisom helped so much. I was gagging again, like it was just so bad and I could not believe how bad it was. So I got back on it again. Um, I will have updates on that again because I'm now into my 17th week and I have tried again to get off of it and I have some updates for that but you'll just have to stay tuned till the next pregnancy update to hear those but I couldn't believe how bad the nausea still was at 16 weeks it was like holy cow so thank god for Unisom because I don't know that I could have survived this pregnancy without it if it had been that bad the whole time so like I've said a couple of times before I have felt pretty moody I feel like that is getting better as things progress it's funny because in this update in my last pregnancy which I always link down below the corresponding update to my first pregnancy I talked about how moody I was in that one I feel like my moodiness hit a lot earlier in this pregnancy and is now starting to level out or in my first pregnancy it was like at the peak right now um, also things we've talked about a thousand times before is my skin. It's still bad. It's actually maybe looking a little better, but it's still bad. You can probably see like you can't even hide it with makeup and camera lighting and all that from here, but it's actually, it doesn't, it's not as bad. Like my forehead has been where it's been the worst. You can see it, but it's not horrible in here. There you go. Like total hormonal acne. So still struggling with the acne. But, I mean, honestly, whatever. Like, I stay home most of the time. It's not a huge deal. Fatigue, I had mentioned previously, it seems to be getting better. It is, but it's like, I'm still tired. So, in my pregnancy update for my first pregnancy, I had mentioned that I was feeling a lot of uncomfortableness in my belly with, like, the stretching and all of that. And I've already talked about that in this pregnancy. I think I did in the last update. I don't feel that that's any worse this week. I actually feel like I'm feeling probably better than I was in my first pregnancy in terms of that. Maybe it's because my body's already stretched out that way, so it's, like, not such a drastic change. There are moments where I, like, feel a little uncomfortable if I move a certain way but I don't feel like it's as uncomfortable as I experienced the first time around I do feel like my belly's also caught up now to my first pregnancy where I like showed really early this time I feel like it's kind of leveled out now something new that happened in week 16 is I got my first bit of like real back pain, like tailbone kind of area, which is something that I didn't really experience until later in my pregnancy. I remember last time 
right around the third trimester, like when I hit the third, her tri her third trimester, I was having a lot of lower back pain. And then it kind of like got better. Um, well, I already had a bout of that, but it hasn't been like consistent, which is good. I may have just either sat too much a day or been on my feet too much that day. I can't even remember what I did that day. Um, but something just irritated my back more than normal that day. So I was dealing with a lot of lower back pain. And with that also came Braxton Hicks contractions. So that's a new one to talk about in this update that I also talked about in my first pregnancy. Same time I started getting them. Um, so I've had a couple Braxton Hicks contractions. Nothing wild. Again, I feel like I experienced them worse in my first pregnancy. Again, maybe because it's just the first time they've happened. But I have certainly had them this time. Just minor cramping like... My uterus gets really hard. Um, I had them pretty good the night that I was having really bad back pain. And I also know that that day I did not drink much water and that kind of goes along with Braxton Hicks. They tend to be worse if you're dehydrated. So that's probably why they were feeling so bad that night. But nothing crazy, but I have been experiencing some Braxton Hicks contractions. And which is funny because when I went into labor with Leanne, I totally thought I was having Braxton Hicks contractions because I'd had so many through my pregnancy. It was like no big deal, but those turned out to be real labor contractions. And then one other thing that I talked about in my last pregnancy was that was the update that I had felt baby move for the first time. So you guys know I've already felt baby move way back in week 13 was the first time. But in this update, in the last two weeks, I have felt him so much more frequently. I think in my previous update, it said that it was just kind of like here and there, nothing super strong, but I did feel him every once in a while. But now I'm feeling him every single day. Mostly I notice it at night um, once I've kind of like laid down and I really feel him a lot, but it's happening more and more frequently. The movements are more and more distinct and I've actually felt a few on the outside as well getting much bigger and those kicks are getting bigger and I'm just feeling those movements more frequently. So that's fun. And honestly, you guys, that's really it. I haven't had really any new cravings. I haven't had any like crazy new symptoms. Braxton Hicks was really the only new symptom that I felt in the past two weeks. So not super exciting, but that's what it is. So I'll show you guys my belly. I said I think it's starting to even out with my last pregnancy. You can't tell if it's focused. There we go. I mean it's getting pretty round. He's certainly growing. Okay you guys so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! That was such a quick and simple one that I don't even have like any outtakes. Wow, that's pretty good.